so thank you everybody for those uh, 20000 views <laughs> on that video we were also delighted and uh, we feel more responsible that students are uh, deriving motivation direction and structure from the videos that we release so sunith prajna me all of us are extremely grateful and thankful for the parents who have replied and the teachers who have told us a lot of compliments that came uh, our way on that video and uh, i'm making this video to to reply to a lot of comments which are many common comments um, and questions which students have asked and i've realized that if i talk here then maybe more people can listen to the same answers to the same question which many of you all had doubt so so well let's begin yes it is going to be sufficient conceptually um, content wise it's going to be sufficient bahar ka question aayega nahi aayega uh, it's going to be application based but this is going to be the overall syllabus structure and the content so i would say stick to the ncert for biology especially it's going to be way way more than sufficient and agar aapko lagta hai ki bahar se kuch aane wala hai ya fir bahar se kuch aaya hai to i want to let you know that wo bahar se nahi aaya hai it's it's directly or indirectly put from the same concept so do not doubt um, the ncert it's a powerful material every week we'll be releasing one one video or one uh, allo allocated for each of this so thank you for putting that request and i would say um, the more you let us know what you want it becomes easy for us to define design and architect something um, which is going to be exclusively useful to you so in the comment section write down and let me know what's what are the other type of videos that you would really appreciate um, what are what are the uh, specific content that you would like us to create let me know that so in the previous video uh, i have used uh, some amount of hindi and there were some children who came up and told me that uh, hindi mat use karo because they find it difficult to understand but i understand what you're saying but but you know naturally i i may end up using hindi because that's my natural dialect but i'll try my best to to be more focused on on hindi uh, <laughs> sorry on english i'll be i'll be uh, more focused on english Uh, there were there were close to 10 to 15 percent of students who were for some reason ill physically. There was somebody who had gone through some surgery, somebody who was physically unwell, and there were also some children who came up and told me that they were going through depression and bipolarity. Um, my thing to you, or my suggestion to you, would be stay put. It is brave on your part to be having the ability to do what you're doing, and it's not everybody's job what you're doing. and i want to congratulate you for for being bold enough and for writing this down and trusting me and and the entire team to have responded to it stay put you know a miracle always happens there are times that you get tired there are times that you may get frustrated but i want you to know that stay put hold the guard and do a little more a very little more each time when you feel tired that's the formula for the miracle The formula for the miracle is when you've done ten push-ups and your body is giving up. That's exactly the point in time where your mind should tell your body, instruct, command, and direct that you do one more, not more, but one more. What do you do after you finish that eleven? Rest for your body to rejuvenate and build and develop that muscle back. Do ten more after that. You know, act, rest, act again. The problem, the problem nowadays is people act, rest, and they rest too long. Don't rest too long. Act, rest, and act again. That is the secret for success. That is the formula for the miracle. You will get tired. Of course, you will. You will get frustrated. Of course, you will. What do you do at those times? That's the very moment when the little hero inside you should take the jump and take the lead and do that which is a little more important, aligned to your purpose, your vision, and the goal of your life. What is it? I'm sure there is some, right? awaken that little hero inside you awaken that chap inside you and encourage yourself push yourself motivate yourself stretch yourself to do that one more push up that one more derivative that one more mcq and do that boy do that you have no idea the the miraculous accumulation that it will give you at the end of it another common question that popped up on the channel was um many students going to schools and colleges they have 8 to 10 hours of uh, preoccupied schedule and then from that or amongst that or between that they are wondering how um they could plan their study time now i'd like to share with you that uh, self study is going to be the most important and deciding factor 
if you do not invest in self study then everything else that you do is of no use listening to a lecture in school or classes or tuition will not be that effective as much as you come back and do a self study on it so how are you going to plan that uh, it's important that you put in the 6 to 10 hours on a daily basis as per the schedule given how are you going to do that is going to be very important you start bunking your lectures you start cutting your lectures or using the free time that is available sitting in the library or some coffee shop or in a friend's house or your own house and making the best of it you know you have to squeeze in that time find out lectures that are not that important and make sure that you invest that time in self study Well I'm telling you physics is not that difficult as you make physics to be it's the story that you tell up in your head that physics is difficult well I'm telling you if you practice it if you chunk it down if you systematically on a regular basis do things I'm telling you it's not that difficult कितना पेजेस है कितना चैप्टर है एवरी डे अगर आप डेढ़ घंटा दो घंटा बैठकर फिजिक्स में इन्वेस्ट करते हो टाइम तो टेल मी इज इट गोइंग टू बी दैट डिफिकल्ट द प्रॉब्लम इज यू मे डू इट टुडे एंड टुमारो एंड देन यू डोंट डू इट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेवन एट टेन डेज यू गेट एक्साइटेड इन डूइंग थिंग्स इन सेटिंग टाइम टेबल प्लानिंग थिंग्स यू मे इवन गेट एक्साइटेड डूइंग इट फॉर द फर्स्ट सेकंड और थर्ड डे बट वेर इज द कंसिस्टेंसी बिकॉज कंसिस्टेंसी नहीं है दैट इज वेर यू स्क्रू अप द होल सक्सेस स्टोरी physics is not as difficult as you make it to be well i'm telling you this over and over again because it is not practice the numericals pick up the ncert go through the structure pick up additional mcqs go through the formulas unless you know the formula and the concept and the understanding of the whole thing it's pointless you come to numericals if you're directly working with numericals it's not going to help you as much as it's going to help you once you come to it from the concept so here these are the dates uh, that you see on the screen are uh, the dates for the jee as well as the neet that's going to be held um, here on the the immediate dates well i'll say syllabus should have been completed by november or maximum by november and maximum by december 10 uh your preliminaries preliminary examination should begin from december onwards jan you should focus completely on your uh, theoretical paper and then you should again come back uh, a little on mcq that balance is so important are you balancing it well or are you like cet mein ghus jayenge and then jab board exam pass mein aa raha hai to board exam mein pasina nikal jayega aapka and then again you'll get you know are you going to do that that way or do you have a balance in place that balance is important to know that your learning concept and it doesn't matter whether they ask you a theoretical question or an mcq question you don't have to study things differently you have to answer them differently your answering technique and your answering mechanism your answering speed has to be different not your studying you have to learn a concept and that's final learn that concept but now us concept se alag alag tarike ka question aa sakta hai there can be a give reason there can be a formula there can be an mcq there can be anything coming from it you should be ready to answer that doesn't matter how they question you if the concept is right if you've learned it well if you've learned it really well it doesn't matter whether they're asking you it for two marks with a negative marking or whether it's for one mark how does it matter The problem is you're sweating because you have not got the concept right. You have not invested sufficient time in learning and understanding the concept the way it has to be understood. Like I said, there are a lot of free resources available on the Merit Store channel. Yeah, at the same time there are a lot of paid resources. One of my favorite product is Revise Neat in 9 hours, Revise JEE in 9 hours. There were some children who told me that some links were not functioning. Well, you can post the link over here of whichever free resource is not functioning well. In that case, I'll rectify it and I'll make sure that you get it. I'll talk to the technical team and they will get that done for you at the earliest. Let's take a challenge each of you. Come on. Are you ready for a challenge a challenge which works towards your growth a challenge which works towards a definitive structure How many MCQs are you solving on a daily basis tell me Is it 10 is it 100 is it 120 whatever that is could you increase it by a 10 or a 15% every day which means if you're doing 100 MCQs for physics on a daily basis can you make it 110 let's see let's take that as an individual challenge to see how much you can pull yourself how much you can push yourself how much you can stretch the 10 mcqs in 10 days will become as good as a whole new day and once you get the stamina to do 110 well increase it by another 10% 
That's what I said. That's the formula for the miracle. Increase at 10%, stretch yourself, take the pain till it becomes a part of your autonomous nervous system. Take the pain, fight the battle till it becomes automatic and natural stamina to do that much. Once that is achieved, well, increase it. Higher the level. Do more than what you could have done before.